about children being used by both In this report, we document how government forces and pro-government militia continue to conduct widespread attacks on civilians, systematically committing murder, torture, rape, and enforced disappearances as crimes against humanity. Among the most devastating events we documented was a campaign of barrel bombing in Aleppo, targeting entire areas and spreading terror among civilians. For the first time in this report, we found that the widespread detention of civilians in Al Raqqa and their systematic torture amounted to a crime against humanity. Among their violations, a uh, murder, uh, summary execution, torture, hostage taking, rape and sexual violence, recruiting and using children in hostilities and other violations and other crimes. No state armor groups also besieged and discriminatorily shelled civilian neighborhoods, in some instances spreading terror among civilians through the use of car bombings in civilian areas. This conflict has been permanently etched on to the bodies of its victims. Their stories remind us that in addition of the 2.5 million refugees, there is an estimated 6.5 million IDPs, uh, internally displaced people in Syria. Millions more are living in enclaves surrounded by violence, the front line moving closer each day, unable to escape the violence. One of the most stark trends we have documented is the use of siege warfare. The denial of humanitarian aid, food, and basic necessities such as medical care and clean water has forced people to choose between surrender and starvation. The Security Council was not able to address the issue of accountability because only the Security Council has the key to the uh, International Criminal Court.